हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कंक्रीट नाउ कंक्रीट हैव डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज द फर्स्ट वन इज ग्रेड दैट इज एम ट्वेंटी एम ट्वेंटी फाइव एम थर्टी नेक्स्ट वन इज द करेक्टरिस्टिक स्ट्रेंथ अनदर वन इज टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ अनदर वन इज ड्यूरेबिलिटी द नेक्स्ट वन इज क्रीप अनदर वन इज श्रिंकेज नेक्स्ट वन इज यूनिट वेट Another one is modular ratio and the last one is Poisson's ratio. Now we will see grade of concrete. Concrete is known by its grade, which is designated as M15, M20, etc. In which letter M refers to concrete mix and the number 15, 20 denotes the specified compressive strength that is FCK of 150 mm cube at 28 days expressed in newton per mm square. Now M20 and M25 are the most common grades of concrete, and higher grades of concrete should be used for severe, very severe, and extreme environments. It means that for normal RCC work, M20 and M25 concrete is almost used. Now the next property is characteristic strength of concrete. It is defined as the value of the strength below which. not more than 5% of the test results are expected to fall that is there is 95% probability of achieving this value only 5% of not achieving the same now suppose that if we are preparing a sample of concrete with specified compressive strength of concrete that is the characteristic strength of concrete then there is a probability of 5% of failure of the sample because we had designed that sample for characteristic compressive strength so there is a chance of 5% of failure of the sample now characteristic strength of concrete in flexural member the characteristic strength of concrete in flexural member is taken as 0.67 times the strength of concrete cube the strength to be taken for the purpose of design is known as design strength and is given by characteristic strength divided by partial safety factor for material strength the value of partial safety factor depends upon the type of material and upon the type of limit state according to indian standard code partial safety factor is taken as 1.5 for concrete and 1.15 for steel design strength of concrete in member is equals to 0.45 fck now we have to study tensile strength of concrete the estimate of flexural tensile strength or the modulus of rupture or the cracking strength of concrete from cube compressive strength is obtained by the relation fcr equals to 0.7 under root fck in newton per mm square the tensile strength of concrete in direct tension is obtained experimentally by split cylinder test it varies between 1 by 8 to 1 by 12 of cube compressive strength now next is the long term property of concrete that is creep in concrete creep is defined as the plastic deformation under sustained load creep strain depends primarily on the duration of sustained loading according to the code the value of the ultimate creep coefficient is taken as 1.6 at 28 days of loading now creep can also be defined as the deformation in the plastic range when the loading is applied in the elastic range it means that when we applied the loading on a particular concrete member in the elastic range then with the passage of time the deformation that occurs in the concrete structure will be in the plastic range now in this table values of creep coefficient is written with age of loading and the creep coefficient now for 7 days the creep coefficient is 2.2 for 28 days 1.6 and for 1 year the creep coefficient is 1.1 it means that total creep deformation is directly proportional to time it means that the total creep deformation will increase with the age of the loading but the rate of creep deformation is inversely proportional to time it means that when the age of loading is very less the creep coefficient is very high with the passage of the age of loading the creep coefficient value decreases now the next property is the shrinkage of concrete 
the property of diminishing in volume during the process of drying and hardening is termed as shrinkage it depends mainly on the duration of exposure if this strain is prevented it produces tensile stresses in the concrete and hence concrete develops crack it means that if we want to prevent this type of strain in the concrete then it will produce tensile stress in the concrete whose result is the development of cracks in the concrete now the next property is the modular ratio short term modular ratio is the modulus of elasticity of steel to the modulus of elasticity of the concrete which is given as es upon ec now es equals to modulus of elasticity of steel which will be equals to 2 into 10 to the power 5 newton per mm square now modulus of elasticity of concrete will be equals to 5000 under root fck that is square root of fck in newton per mm square as the modulus of elasticity of concrete changes with time age at loading etc the modular ratio also changes accordingly taking into account the effect of creep and shrinkage partially indian standard code gives the following expression for the long term modular ratio long term modular ratio that is small m which will be equals to 280 upon 3 sigma cbc where sigma cbc equals to permissible compressive stress due to bending in concrete in newton per mm square now the next property of concrete is durability of concrete durability of concrete is its ability to resist its disintegration and decay one of the chief characteristic influencing durability of concrete is its permeability to increase of water and other potentially deleterious materials the desired low permeability in concrete is achieved by having adequate cement sufficient low water cement ratio by ensuring full compaction of concrete and by adequate curing now the next property is unit weight of concrete the unit weight of concrete depends on percentage of reinforcement type of aggregate amount of voids and varies from 23 to 26 kN per meter square the unit weight of plain and reinforced concrete as specified by indian standard 456 are 24 and 25 kN per meter cube respectively now 24 is taken for plain cement concrete and 25 is taken for reinforced cement concrete now poisson's ratio is the next property poisson's ratio varies between 0.1 for high strength concrete and 0.2 for weak mixes it is normally taken as 0.15 for strength design and 0.2 for serviceability criteria that is all about the properties of concrete thank you very much students